stop buying the gap ups, right? The gap, every single time the market gaps up in a bear market, it's getting stuff at 60 minute supply, like clockwork every single day. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com weekend oh, update show, daily update show. Hope everybody, <laughs> Freudian slip. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So look, the, the old question was for the last, you know, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten days. Are we going to crash? Or is this a crash? Is this a crash? And now all I've been saying was, hey, this is the most... You know, this is the most uh, slowest crash, crash three miles an hour orderly you could possibly find. Obviously, sell bias. You know, we've been sell bias ever since uh, the Qs, uh, you know, Qs broke down below the 200-day moving average. Hey, man, I'll tell you, if you want to start calling this a crash or a slow crash, whatever the kind of crash you want to be, I'm not mad at you. Potato, potato, call it what you want. Uh, levels are being uh, taken down uh, very, very orderly. Uh, we spoke last night on the video about a Tesla macro area, about a NVIDIA macro area, about the Q's macro area, and the moral of the story is same day, same result. They keep on selling and selling and selling. Now again, whether you are a long-term trader or you are uh, an active intraday trader that is um, focused on ranges or focused on just the day-to-day, -day, you'll really appreciate what this market is doing. Is It's really giving you great opportunities and the most important part of what the sell-off is, the, regardless of what you call this, these levels are being really, really respected. And that's the most important part. When you have volatility, for example, right? You'll see stocks go up and down, up and down, up and down. There's no continuity, there's no follow through. This market and this sell-off, you know, regardless of, of, of what you want to paint it, it's been super damn orderly. Every level is being respected. Every level is being built upon, whether it's well, mostly down. And the most important part is it's a rotation, right? They're rotating name after name after name. They're killing a stock, they're going somewhere else. They're killing a stock, they're going somewhere else. And the most important part, and we talked about this last night, you know, you're not, again, you're not looking for the stock uh, that's already broken down for four weeks, five weeks, six weeks. You're looking for those macro channels. You're looking for those daily channels that put in the low two, three weeks ago and now they are starting to test those lows. And if those lows get broken, you're starting to see very, very aggressive option flow following that name. And you're getting some pretty big uh, downside uh, escalation. So going into tomorrow, it, again, it's, it's the same broken record. The value is to the downside. Uh, everybody's looking for this whole you know, magical capitulation day. Throw the baby out with the bathwater. I don't want to be in the market anymore. Maybe that day happens. Maybe that doesn't. But the point is the value, right? The value is still to the downside. Uh, again, like I've been saying, e even yesterday, I'm not naive. You know, the market's not gonna go straight down, but until it does, until the bulls start figuring out and the retail public start figuring out, stop buying the gap ups, right? The gap, every single time the market gaps up in a bear market, it's getting stuff that's 60 minute supply, like clockwork every single day. Today was no different. Everything gapped up this morning. And then next thing you know, they pulled the plugs, bid, bids disappeared. The cockroaches ran as soon as the light, uh, the lights uh, went on and yada, 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 here we are, right? And we're getting a very, very uh, aggressive sell-off into the close. And now we're getting uh, a pretty extensive sell-off right now after the close. You got eBay uh, that they came for uh, the $50 week, you know, weekly puts over and over and over again. It's getting hit pretty hard. And this is obviously taking down everything, right? And again, it's not a magical name like an Apple or a Microsoft, but in this type of environment, you're shooting first to ask questions later. Again, there's nobody sitting there right now trying to rationalize a company's earnings report. It's pretty bad across the board when you think about sentiment and earnings sometimes, it doesn't make a difference how good their earnings are. And I'm not even talking about eBay, I'm just talking about any company in general. When you're in a good environment, the bulls are going to give you the benefit of the doubt, regardless of the, of the earnings. When you're in a crappy environment like we are right now, in a sell bias environment, 
they don't care, right? They, they don't care what the earnings are. Unless it's going to blow them completely away, they are selling stock, selling stock, selling stock. And if it's not on the after hours, it's probably uh, the following day. So going into tomorrow, again, you want to leave the big stretched out names alone. I'll, I'll, we'll talk about Tesla in a second. We'll talk about NVIDIA in a second. But I'm finding a lot of really great value still. Still names that haven't broken down below that that. Uh, January 24th low of the queues. If you guys remember yesterday's video, we talked about this is the line in the sand, right? The January 24 lows. Look, it went through it today like a knife through butter. 334 got just absolutely destroyed, right? So if you're looking for, for names going into tomorrow, start looking at that January 24 lows. A lot of the names will mirror the QQQs if they haven't mirrored them already today. And a lot of names, if they confirm tomorrow, I don't care what the rest of the market does, if those names start confirming those January 24 lows that the Qs put in that quote unquote hammer, right? And today they confirm that hammer, then you're gonna start seeing some mirrored results, especially if the Qs uh, start going lower. So let's talk about today, right? You don't, you don't have to spin this, okay? Um, the market's a sell bias market. That's all it is. We could get a rally tomorrow, a dead cat rally, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about the dead cat rallies as long as their names are still taking out bottom channels. And I don't care how strong the day is, especially at the open. There'll always be something that's going to snap the ranges and start coming in. So let's talk about uh, today's channels. Really, really aggressive day, right? And, you know, yesterday we talked about macro uh, on the queues. They broke. $5 move on the queues. We talked about NVIDIA and Tesla. Both of them confirmed macro today. Huge, huge moves. We'll get to that in a second. So Shaq still hasn't confirmed, guys. Watch the Shaq for tomorrow. Shaq came out with earnings. We talked about this in last night's video. Here's the number, right? Usually I, I usually don't share the numbers in, for the public feed. But here's the number. 6460 earnings low. If it builds below, can flush, right? Here's the here's the number, right? I, th I think I just accidentally turned on my uh, my uh, TC2000, but uh, here here's Shaq, right? S H A K. Here's Shaq, right? You see the earnings low here. This thing starts building below the earnings low here. I don't care, how, you know, how good or how bad the burgers are, the, the the cheese fries, whatever the case may be. If this thing starts building below the 6460, you have room all the way down to 58, 59 dollars. Keep an eye on this Shaq. Um, hasn't triggered yet. Remember we talked about tractor supply yesterday, TSCO, uh, 199, uh, 199, if it builds below can flush. Here was TSCO, got manslaughter today, right? Here is the candle we talked about last night. It took out the 99, went all the way down to this 191 level. This thing looks lower, uh, big move there uh, on that. Uh, Boeing, not a big move yet, uh, 197.80 if it builds below can flush. Here is Boeing, only went down about a dollar and change, but I still like this thing lower, especially if the market continues lower. Here was, forget about this, right? For, excuse me, forget about this one right here. Here was the pivot, right? Here was the pivot. Uh, 800 is a sneaky pivot, 792 if it, it's macro. If it confirms, can get hit. This is why, again, this is why uh, we talk about macro pivots that are the most important part. So 800 was yesterday's low, right? 801 was yesterday's low. 792 was the low for January 28th. Everybody see that, right? That's where I get these numbers from. So 800 was the low from yesterday. 792 was the low here. This thing got absolutely manslaughtered, right? Absolutely manslaughtered. They were coming for the 750 weeklies. I saw some 600s for the summertime. Uh, Tesla, by the way, is down another $10 uh, Ten dollars after the close. If you are long equity, guys, try to take some more off tonight. You don't need to wait for tomorrow. Right now, the market is in this kind of state of, dare I say, crashing. I'm joking, tongue in cheek, tongue in cheek. But the point is, there's a there is there is fear, right? There absolutely is fear. Why not take advantage? You can see here's the here's what's going on here with Tesla. Tesla's down another uh, almost ten after the close. Take some off tonight if you can. Uh, is there a shot this thing gets into the seven thirties? There is a shot, but you got the bird in the hand. Any runners, guys, try to take off tonight uh, if possible. Huge, huge move there on Tesla. NVIDIA, we talked about NVIDIA, the macro area, the 200-day moving average. We talked about this last night. This was the area. This was the spot. Uh, I missed the initial 230 move to 227, and then that that move back into supply, into the two, two, um, th uh, 229.40s, I got some off. This thing got absolutely manhandled into the close. 
Here is uh, NVIDIA. It's getting, you know, getting shelled here. It's trading at 221 into the close. We talked about this 230, 200-day moving average. Guys, they were coming for the weekly 225s, 220s, 215 puts. They're coming for the Marches, 200s, the 190s yesterday. There's a shot this thing could see uh, 217 uh, tomorrow. Really, really big move on uh, NVIDIA as well. It's also down about 3 uh, after the close, TSCO getting hit. Uh, we, again, QQQ 334 held three times, okay? This thing starts getting below 334. It's just getting manhandled. And this is where you see how aggressive this market is. The Qs took out 334 and put down a $5 move for the ETF. That's really, really damn aggressive. So that's kind of showing you uh, where the market is uh, right now. Uh, NVIDIA, next measure potential, 227. And then uh, this thing just completely uh, imploded into uh, the close. So look, call it what you want. Potato, potato, sell off. Look, we've been sell buys. Any, any technician that's been doing this for a very, very long time knows how incredibly important this whole 200-day moving average was. And the, the fact that we got rejected twice off the 200-day moving average, we, this is, again, These the longer we build, right? The longer we, we, you go back to weekends and weekends and weeks and weeks of videos, we kept on re illustrating the same thing. The longer we stay below the 200-day moving average, the higher probability we're going to flush. It's like the Chris Rock bit. Nothing happens good under, you know, nothing happens good at three o'clock in the morning. Nothing bullish happens underneath the 200-day moving average. That's where it is right now. That's where you have been being. So again, for all you guys who are trading the price action, again, some really, really terrific value. Uh, look at some names for tomorrow, guys. Look at CLAP, right? Look at CLAP. We're about to confirm macro here. Look at AMD, right? Look at AMD. AMD is about to confirm macro here. That looks good. Look at NTES, right? Look at NTES ready to take out this whole channel here. There's a lot of value still. You don't need to be in the names that are completely stretched out. The most important part is rationally enter these trades if the future start to reverse kind of a kind of a wash and go scenario it's possible right like again it, no, nothing goes straight down it feels like everything's going straight down because it is but always be conscious don't be naive in, in the worst markets in the world you'll still get that powerful rip your face off rally if you're not uh if you're not uh expecting it and, and if you don't believe it could possibly happen that's being naive on both sides of the market guys have a great night god bless and i will see you all tomorrow